today I've got my Stitch Fix. This is a tiny box. Look how little this box is. I love Stitch Fix. Okay, just in case somebody's never heard of Stitch Fix, I'll give you the really quick 30 second rundown. It's a $20 styling fee. Whatever you keep, that $20 goes towards it. If you keep all five pieces, you get 25% off. We call that a five out of five or a five for five. Those are exciting and I've had a few of those myself. Um, let's see, what else you need to know? Oh, you do work really closely with a stylist. There's all kinds of ways to connect. They have notes that you can send. You have an inspiration page. You've got the thumbs up, thumbs down game. What are you doing? I don't know what she was doing back there. So yeah, they're very personal. Um, my stylist name is Leslie, or that's usually who my stylist is. They also send you a preview. Uh, a lot of people get a preview. I don't know if that's everybody now or not, but most people I think get a preview um, and they'll send you, I've never really counted, she just sat right behind me. I've never really counted to see exactly how many pieces they send in that preview, but you can choose five. And when you choose the five, that's what they'll send you. Or if you only like two of them, you choose two, and then they give you some more options. You know, they fill it back up. Okay, comes like this. Let me get my bundle out. It is a bulging bundle. I'm loving the colors I'm seeing. All right, you get a return mailer to send back anything you do not want to keep. It is uh, free shipping both ways. Uh, this is where my styling note will be. All right, here's my invoice. Here's my styling cards. Let me just see, I'm pretty sure it's Leslie, but let me just make sure, you never know. It is indeed Leslie. Leslie really understands my style. She's really good at styling me. Okay. Ooh, wonder what that is. <laughs> she put something in one of my styling cards and I'm like, that's cute, that's cute. That's so funny, I'll be requesting, I'll be saying, you know that thing that you had in the, yeah. I don't know what happened, my dogs just all ran to the window. Okay, let's get in here and see what I've got. Like the navy blue right on top. All right, the navy blue, because I saw it in the preview, I know is a dress. Uh, I can tell the fabric. The fabric is brush knit. I am not a fan of brush knit. I keep forgetting to tell Leslie that. I need to tell her, please don't send me anything in brush knit. Um, there's a couple reasons. It's hot. It, it really is. It's a very warm fabric and it's clingy. Now, this is super cute. Look, can you see the scalloped edge? That is really cute. This little dress is sleeveless. I think I just felt a pocket. I don't know what I felt. It wasn't a pocket. Okay. This dress is by, let me see, uh, The General Good. I've never heard of that brand. It's by The General Good. Uh, it looks A-line, super cute, kind of little multi-size polka dots. This could be cute for the summer. I, I just, it's just gonna matter how, if it's clingy and this fabric. This fabric does hold in heat. It's just, it's just a very hot fabric. All right, it is, this is said, that said the general good. This says Fortune and Ivy. Maybe it's the same company. I don't know, but it's $48. Wow. Really good box on price, you guys. If I keep all five pieces, it's $159 after the discount. Hmm. That's really good. Okay, next piece looks like a little top by 41 Hawthorne. Oh, more polka dots, y'all. This is kind of a corally pink color. Little cap sleeves. This is a very typical Stitch Fix top. You know what I mean? I've, I've got a lot of top, you know, the split V, the little cap sleeves, this polyester fabric. I got a lot of things like that from Stitch Fix. I'm not complaining, because I actually like it. But um, I like this color. I really do. It's a pinky coral. I don't think I have anything in that color, but it, it's, it's very cute, very, very cute. And it is $42. Love this color. Now this, I would typically say is a fall color, but I have come to accept that this spring we're seeing fall colors. That's just all there is to it. 
Um, but this is stinking adorable, y'all. Okay, it's a, it is a mixed media. A lot of people do not like that. I kind of do. It doesn't it doesn't bother me is what I will say. It's not I'm not opposed to it. Uh, so the back is so, is a, a solid and it's stretchy. The front is the print and it's not stretchy. It's got the it's like the polyester. There's some cute details on this. Look at the little ruffle right there. Um, it's Oh, okay. It's got a button, like a little covered button right there. Or you could just leave it open like a V. Y'all, that's really cute. Yeah, I kind of really like that. It's by Paper Moon. And it's $40. The next two pieces are shorts. All right. I think these are really cute, y'all. They've got kind of a zigzag pattern. The little zigzag. Uh, big elastic waist, you know, wide elastic waist. They feel cotton. They're by Violets and Roses. It's tinsel. The fabric is tinsel, and they're $44. Those are cute, y'all. All right, these I'm kind of excited about. <clears throat> you know my uh, joggers that I like so much, those blue ones? that are by the 151 brand. Well, this is also by 151, but they're shorts. And they've got that cute little belt. Now, y'all, <clears throat> unless these just fit really, really well, you know, I'm not gonna tuck anything in where you can see the belt, but these are really cute. They, The only thing is they look kind of short. The inseam's not very long, so they're looking, they're looking kind of short. They look a little short, you see? So that would be the only reason I wouldn't keep them because I love the color and I love that brand. And they're only $38. So great box. All right, I'm gonna go try these on and let's see what we think. Okay, I decided to start with the dress. Um, I like it. Um, you know, the, it's not clingy. It's not clingy, it's A-line, so I think I think that's good. Love the color, I love polka dots, I think that's really cute. I think the length is really good. I'm struggling with the top of it. It's got these cute little scallops, which I think are adorable, but I'm not real happy with the way it's cutting me right here. You know, if y'all follow me at all, you know that I've been struggling with my arms, and so ugh, this is way outside my comfort zone. But I also know that, um, I wear sweaters and cardigans and jackets over everything, uh, you know, when I go places. So I'm gonna try it on with a little cardigan, see how that looks. I also have a white linen jacket that I think would be really cute with this. Yeah, see, I'm much more comfortable like this. Um, I, I'm just, and you know, and so I think it kind of loses its cuteness, you know, the special part about it. Um, and it could be the strapless bra that's doing a weird thing because it's kind of pushing everything. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? It's pushing everything up, everything, even stuff you don't want to be pushed up, it's pushing it up. So maybe I need to find a better fitting strapless bra. I rarely wear anything that I need a strapless bra with, so I haven't really invested in a good one. Maybe I should, maybe I should, especially at my age. You know, as you get older, you need you need, um, bras are more about the fit than the pretty. <laughs> Come on, girls, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, you know, maybe that's what it is because it is kind of, I don't know, I don't know. It's cute. So if I love everything else in the box and I feel like I could do a five for five, then I would keep this. I definitely would to get that discount because it was a really great five out of five price. So. We'll reserve jacket because I think it looks cute like this too. I could even wear a regular bra, you know, and just put a jacket or sweater over it. I would just have to make sure that wherever I was going, I would not need to take this off because that would look stupid. So anyway, okay. I do love this though. I love the color and I love everything about it except what's going on up here, but that's more about my body or possibly bra fit. So we'll see. Okay, now I'm gonna go try on the shorts and the tops. Okay, I have on the Violet and Roses shorts. They fit really well. They're a great length. Uh, the fabric is Lysel, so um, I think that's right, or tinsel. 
both of them, it doesn't matter. Either one wrinkles really bad. I'm, I'm never too worried about things that wrinkle, so that's not a big deal to me. Um, they're cute. I like the pockets. I like the color. I like the pattern. So these could be a keep for sure, for sure. Okay, but I have kept a whole lot of shorts lately, so, you know, I'm not gonna do a five out of five just for the sake of doing a five out of five. If I'm forcing it, then it's a no. So, I do like these. I do like these. Um, let's keep going. I have on the 151 shorts and this cute little coral top, okay. Here's the deal on the shorts, they're too small. They're too small. I mean, they're snug around the waist and they're too short. But I think if they fit better up here, you know, we're a little bit more relaxed, they wouldn't feel too short because I'm, I'm doing this. You know, I keep pulling them down like this, but I love these shorts. I love the color, I love the fabric. I love the cute little belt, which nobody's ever gonna see, most likely, but it is cute. Um, Definitely not going to see it in this size. Let's put it that way. If I had a more relaxed fit, maybe. So I'm considering sizing up on these. I'm even, see the thing is, it's like, if I, for me, sizing up sometimes is hard because if I ever need to size up, it's usually because it's too tight right here, but then it becomes too big down here. So, but with these, I don't think so because they're, they're, you know, they're fitting just right. So if they're a little bit loose, I tried on a pair of shorts one day, and a lot of y'all said it looked like a skirt because they were so, I think it was the Goldie shorts. They were so big in the legs that it just looked like a skirt on me. So, yeah, that's not a good look. That's never a good look. So, anyway, I like them, but I think if I'm going to keep them, I'm going to have to size up. And even then, I'm not sure if they'll be a good fit, but it may be worth a shot because they're only $38. And I know I love this brand because of those joggers I have. So, okay, this top. Love this top, love the color, and of course I love the style. This is quintessential Stitch Fix, which I actually kind of like, but I really love the color. I think the color is so, so cute. So yeah, this this is, I'm liking this. Okay, now I'm gonna go try on the other top. Um, I may keep these on or I may, I've got some, got some pants in this color. I may try the other top on with those pants, we'll see. Or maybe just blue jeans. Or maybe I'll keep these on. I don't know. Okay, here is the last top. I just put them on with my Liverpool shorts. Love these shorts. These shorts look good with everything. Um, I like this top, y'all. I like the little details. I like that you can button it or leave it open, too. So, hang on. Let me button it. So, when you button it, it gives it really a very different look, I think. Um, I, I think it's really cute, y'all. I like it a lot. It's a very comfortable shirt. Um, it's a good shirt for travel. It won't wrinkle. You know, that's the thing about these polyester shirts. A lot of people don't like them, but I like them for traveling because I can just roll them up in my suitcase and I don't ever have to worry about them wrinkling. <laughs> so that's a good thing. Okay, so let's kind of go over it. I could do a five for five in this. I really could because I would wear the dress as long as I have something over it or maybe even without something once I get the right kind of bra. Uh, but I, that's yet to be seen. Um, the other shorts, the blue shorts, I liked them. I wasn't over the moon for them, but I would definitely wear them. I'm not really sure what I would get rid of in my closet for them. That's the thing. Uh, the white or ecru colored shorts, I love, but I didn't like the fit. So I'd have to change the size. I like both tops. Love both tops, actually. So I don't think this is a five out of five. I'm having to work too hard to make it a five out of five. So for that reason, I do not think this is a five out of five, even with that great discount, um, great prices. So probably what I'm gonna do is pick one of the tops, one of the tops. I like them both equally. Um, and then I know one thing I'm gonna do is look for some shorts in that color. Cause yeah, I really did like, I, I, I love, I, I have those um, cut from the cloth uh, jeans in that color. Y'all, I wear them a lot. And so I know I would wear those shorts a lot too. But not those shorts, but shorts in that color. You know what I mean? But I think I can find those probably anywhere. So anyway, okay. Y'all tell me, which shirt did you like best? Or 
you know, Melissa, rethink that because $155 for five pieces might be a better deal than 40 bucks for one. I don't know. <laughs> when you say it like that, no, it's not because even $150 for five pieces, it's about $30 a piece and I'm having to work really hard to make some of the other pieces work. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, I'd rather pay $40 for one. So y'all tell me which one, which one do y'all like the best? Okay guys, I'm finished rambling. All right, I hope y'all have enjoyed this stitch fix and until we get back together again, you guys, y'all stay blessed, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time.